Alright, this is another video for Mr. Kimberling's class and or any other kind of handy machinist person out there that might think this is neat. Um, I made, I needed a brand, so I made myself a small branding iron press out of a MyPin heat control unit and... These are the heat cartridges. You can find all these on Amazon. I paid to build this whole thing, which is still getting built. Right now I've got 60 bucks in the press, 30 bucks in the heat controller, and $9 a piece for your heaters. So we're still swinging the $100 mark, which is amazing. Um, this is good. So I just took the presser out kissed it off the bottom, drilled and tapped for a adapter plate to take our brass branding iron. Now I have to go take this and get it CNC machined, but this is for your thermostat so it doesn't run away. So, because at my pin, that's the only thing that is controlling your heat. It's saying, hey, it's this hot. It'll either give your burners power or it'll shut them off. Um, I like running it. It runs really good and it stays within 30 degrees Fahrenheit. So, and it's neat when you put a brand down, you can watch the heat get sucked out and you, you wait and you can watch the heat build back up. So I did the first test batches with aluminum. Now this is a Pyropel separator. If you're going to run something like this and you have this running about 600 degrees, you can't really have metal to metal contact. You have to have some kind of a asbestos or this is a fiberglass separator to insulate the heat because otherwise this, the heat's gonna climb right up in the press and you're gonna have an issue. So that's fixture one tonight on Swing Shift. Fixture two, that needs some help. More heaters, different heater thing is I made this fixture plate to make these crates, and the better the fixture plate, the better, well, the faster you can make it. So usually when I'm running a nail gun, I'm not doing it sober. So that's it. So I've got to give this fixture just a little love and just make things a little snappier, um, make things a little more positive, some of these pins. But this was a test, and the test was, you know, where am I going to have my issues? So tolerance wise, you're going to have an end that eats the tolerance off. So if the boards are long, that's okay. If they're short, you know, I'll deal with it. But you kind of accommodate for plus or minus 10 and butt it up, butt it up, have a free side to sand off. So that makes that. And then I'm working on, I just had to cut longer pieces for my punch press die stamp so that is second shift and I've been up since five and it's eight so I'm gonna go in and call it a day that's a usual day for me